are driving to the airport because we're heading to New York City for the long weekend. So we're really excited because we're actually bringing Lulu on this trip with us. This is her first time flying and her first time in New York. We are still at the airport. Our flight was originally at 8.30, but we got bumped. So our flight now is going into LaGuardia instead of JFK at 11.15. So quite a long time, but Lulu's been really patient and really good, and um, we did get compensation from Air Canada because they bumped us and we were on time and everything like that, but it's just a shame because, um, yeah, we were hoping to be there early. We are finally here in New York City. We checked into our hotel. This is the Sofitel, and I'll do a little walkthrough after, but we had to take a short nap because we were so tired. We only got like two and a half hours of sleep last night, and we slept just a little bit on the plane because the flight was so short. We took a short nap, and now we're off to find food for Lulu. Lulu eats raw food, and we didn't pack her anything because we only took carry-on, and you can't really bring meat across the border. So we're gonna look for a grocery store, and failing that, we might look for a pet store and just get her some canned food but the fridge situation in here isn't good so I don't know what we're gonna do we'll see how it goes um, but yeah we're gonna head out soon um, here's just what I'm wearing I'm not wearing my shoes yet but I'm just wearing the simple like floral dress and I'm gonna be wearing my Crocs and there's Lulu behind me there we are on Fifth Avenue and we are heading to the party I'm going to take a look to see if I can find uh, the black structured bag that I wanted. It's an absolutely beautiful day. It's really hot. It was very, very sunny when we got here, but it's about, I think, 5 o'clock right now, so the sun is starting to go down, and yeah, it's just really comfortable. Here is the floor of our hotel. This again is the Sofitel and being a French chain I just love all the photos of um, Paris and such on the wall and let's just go to our room. So here is our room. We just got back so Lulu is kind of going a little crazy. She's actually calmed down now. Um, the door to the bathroom we've just been leaving open because we have Lulu's pee pad there which I won't show you too much of. So the bathroom just looks like this and we have um, Lan Vin toiletries which I think is amazing and um, I've never tried those toiletries before. In the shower we have these like almost full size Lan Vin uh, this one is shower gel, the shampoo is smaller, and then the conditioner again is like almost a full size. So they're 100 ml, so that's like pretty good, pretty generous. So here is the rest of the room. It's very, very basic. It's just essentially a bed, and then a window, which doesn't look at anything. This is our view, so pretty, yeah, nothing. <laughs> And then we have like this big full-length mirror and these are just our closets and then we just have a little TV, a desk, a chair and then the door to the outside is behind the bathroom door there and that's it. That's our room. We are just getting ready for dinner. We're going to Daniel for dinner. We're just going to have the three course menu because it's getting really late. Our reservations at 9.30 because I couldn't get anything sooner. But um, just wanted to show you my outfit. Flowy top that I got in the US. And this is the skirt I got from Express. It just has the faux leather at the waist. And then I'm wearing my Balenciaga sandals and they just look like that. And this is my new baby. I just bought this today. This is the Givenchy Antigona in small and it's in the black um, like pebbled leather. A few bags I had in mind when I was looking for a black structured bag. This was one of them. I was also looking at the Celine luggage tote and I was also looking at the Chloe Parody. I love all three of those bags, but this one just seemed to have the cleanest lines. It was the best in terms of size, not too big and not too small. Sometimes I find even the micro luggage or the one between the mini and the nano is still a little bit too 
big, maybe because of the shape, it looks a little more boxy, whereas this looks really streamlined. The only thing I don't like about this bag is that the handles don't fall over. I wish the handles fell so that I could wear the strap not as awkwardly, because right now, when you wear this strap on your shoulder, the handles stay standing up, so this goes like right under your armpit. So as you can see, the handles are like jutting out and poking me right in my armpit. So what I found is um, if I kind of shift everything back a little bit, it's more comfortable and it looks a bit better as well. Other than that, I love this bag. The quality is amazing. The zipper is incredible and I may be doing a full review on this, but um, we'll see. Let me use it for a bit first. So yeah, so this is my complete outfit.